It's happening. Starship Flight 11 is on the pad at Starbase, Texas, and SpaceX is closer than ever to perfecting the world's most powerful rocket. Standing 400 feet tall, this beast, made up of Booster 15 and Ship 38, is now fully stacked, ready for liftoff as early as October 13th. But here's where it gets wild. Booster 15 isn't new. It already flew on Flight 8 earlier this year. Now it's back, upgraded, retested, and armed with 33 Raptor 2 engines pushing nearly 7,500 tons of thrust. That's more power than any rocket in human history. Ship 38, meanwhile, carries SpaceX's biggest re-entry experiment yet. Its heat shield has intentional gaps, yes, missing tiles, to push the limits and see how much heat this ship can really handle during re-entry, where plasma temperatures hit over 1400 degrees Celsius. Flight 10 nearly made it through re-entry, but Flight 11 is designed to go further. The goal? Achieve a controlled re-entry, collect critical data, and prove Starship can survive the inferno of atmospheric return. This time, though, there's no Mechazilla catch. Both stages will splash down in the Gulf. But make no mistake, this test is setting up for something far bigger. Tower catches and rapid reusability in the coming flights. And here's the twist. SpaceX might shift launches to Florida next, from NASA's legendary Pad 39A, the same place Apollo 11 launched. Every single flight brings Elon Musk's Mars vision closer to reality. Whether Flight 11 succeeds or fails, SpaceX wins. Because every explosion, every breakthrough, every tweak brings us closer to the day Starship carries humans to the red planet. So keep your eyes on the sky. The countdown is on. Starship Flight 11 isn't just another test. It's the next giant step toward Mars.